And while most businesses are shutting down right now, funeral homes remain open, certainly an essential service. Two News reporter Kelly King has the changes they're making, though, as they adapt to operating during a pandemic. Baker Hazel and Snyder Funeral Home is trying to do most of their business and appointments online or by phone. While they're still holding funerals, they're trying to limit the number of people gathering together in one place. The coronavirus has put many aspects of life on hold, but death has its own timing. We can't put death on hold. Baker Hazel and Snyder Funeral Home has been comforting the community since 1941. A funeral director for 37 years, Rick Snyder, has spent his life helping people through death. I signed up to take care of people, and this is part of my job and who I am. Through the coronavirus outbreak, he's doing the same, disinfecting chairs and door handles multiple times a day. A hand-washing station sits as a temporary fixture just inside the front door. It's pretty hard to do when you're used to putting your hand out and wanting to hug people. Now practicing social distancing, he's still giving people time to say goodbye, weighing all of his options to cut down on the number of people paying respects at one time. We have 50 laminated badges with numbers on them. We let 50 people in a time. When someone leaves, we disinfect the badge, hands to the next person. The online obituary and website, another way to offer condolences and help people through an already difficult time made even more difficult by a pandemic. Within reason, we'll do whatever we need to do to make sure they get an opportunity to, to uh, start grieving. The funeral home says a webcast is also an option for families who request it. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.